Today I'm going to show you how to use nifty images inside of your Infusionsoft account. Uh, these tools include countdown timers and personalized images, which are a great way to get your subscribers' attention and increase click-through rates. Uh, first things first, you need to navigate to niftyimages.com where you can sign up for a free account. This will allow you to create as many images as you want um, and use up to 10,000 free impressions. Uh, after that, it's $20 a month to get 50,000 impressions. Once you're in your Nifty Images account, click on Create New Nifty Image. This will give you three options. Um, personalized images using a template, custom personalized images where you can use your own image, and also countdown timers. I'll click on Custom to show you the full capabilities of the platform. Here you'll see an image library uh, shows up. Um, you can upload any image just by dragging it into the window or clicking Upload Image. Once you've selected an image, we'll load the tool set to help you personalize this image for all of your subscribers. Now what personalized images allow you to do is to use your customer variables or merge fields to personalize an image so that every single subscriber gets a unique image. Here you can see it's represented by the bracket text bracket in the text field. So this is a placeholder for where your custom variable will show up. In the example I'm doing today, I actually don't need any extra text. I'm just going to be using the first name of our subscribers. Uh, below that, you can see we have it also offer a default value. This is used in case you don't have data for all of your subscribers. In that scenario, we can put a default value that will show up in the image, or you can leave it blank if you wish. I'm going to use for signing up, so it'll say thank you for signing up. Now I'll move on to font style, where I can select from a variety of fonts. Um, we also have the option of uploading your own font, which I can touch on later. But you can see there's a ton of different font options. Um, you can also change, of course, the font size, the font color, and the opacity setting of the font. Under text style, we have letter case. This allows you to make the variable um, act in a particular way, regardless of how the data is stored in your Infusionsoft account. Um, I will select title case because I'm using first name and everyone's first name should be capitalized. For alignment, this applies to the box that you can see in the image. You can adjust this box so that your text and variable will only display in certain parts of the image. Now I'll position this um, just below the thank you sign where I want my text to, to show up. Um, regardless of how long or short someone's name in it, um, I want it to take up the entire box, so I'm going to use a sizing option called stretch. So no matter how big or how short their name is, it'll take up the entire box. Under advanced options, I can limit the text that's displayed for my variable. So if someone, uh, some of your subscribers put in a fake name, or a name that's over a certain amount of characters, you have the option of um, not showing that and instead showing the default that we already set up. So in this case, I can set the maximum for 20 and the minimum for two. So if their name isn't within those uh, um, character lengths, it'll show the default. I can also choose to rotate my box or skew it in different directions. So you can see how the box is moving as I make these changes. So I can make it look as if the text is uh, going off into the distance. I can skew it on uh, the side of billboards or left to right. So we make it very simple to do that. So if you have uh, an image that uh, would be best applied using those techniques, it's very easy to do. Lastly, I can go to Other and hide the outline to see how this image will look. If I'm happy, I can save it and get the code that I need to put this into my Infusionsoft uh, template. At the bottom, you will also see that I can hit random name and see how different names will look inside this image or type in my own name if I wish. If you look at the code that we provide, you will see the image path followed by an Infusionsoft merge field. This is needed so that Infusionsoft can apply unique name to each image path, therefore giving each user an image with their name on it. Keep in mind that you can use more than just first name too. Um, these can be utilized with the subscriber's last name, company name, pet's name, birthday, address, etc. 
any Infusionsoft merge field can be used, but we will always add the first name merge field as a default. So I'm going to copy this HTML code and jump into Infusionsoft to show you how to use it. Simply click on Snippets when designing a template and drag the HTML option into your template. Then just paste in the code that we provided for you and click the Save button. That is it. You're done. If you preview this template, Infusionsoft will show your username where the first name merge field is. Be sure to send yourself a test of any campaign before scheduling it to make sure the merge field is correct. Now going back into Nifty Images, I will show you how to make a countdown timer. I'll create new Nifty Image and select New Countdown Timer. You can start by uh, seeing a bunch of templates that we've created here, but I'm going to choose a plain one to show you how to start from scratch. I can start by choosing a background color. We have a color wheel here that you can choose from. I can also select my target date and my target time. Later we'll be able to show you um, how to select a certain time zone that this time will count down in. I also have the same variety of fonts that I can choose from. In this case I'm going to choose flame and I can play with the font color. So if I want to change the font color I can do that. The next section um, will give me color options for the labels, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So with these I can come in and once again change different colors for different parts of the timer. The next section will let me select the time zone that this timer will count down in. I can also change the language for the different labels. And I can choose casing for the labels uh, text, title case, uppercase, and lowercase. You also see I can decide to hide the labels completely if I wish, if I don't want to show the days, hours, minutes, and seconds text. I can get rid of days, so if I just want to count down hours, minutes, and seconds. And I can also make this a transparent background if I have a background color inside of my email template that I wish to um, show behind it. Um, the separator can be changed to any character. And also you can add padding. So if you're using custom fonts and um, you need more padding around uh, the image, simply change this to 20 or 30, and it usually um, can make that image look correct for you. Once you save this timer, uh, it'll once again give you the HTML code that you're going to need in Infusionsoft. But at the bottom here, it has another option um, to show an expiration image. I'll scroll down so you can see this. I hit Choose Expiration Image and then simply drag in an image from my desktop that will load. Now, once the timer is done counting down, it'll show all zeros, but since I have an expiration image, instead it'll show this image. So you have both options available for you. Now I can come in and copy this code, and once again, go into my Infusionsoft template where I can change the HTML to the timer code I have. And just like that, you have a timer inside of your HTML template. If you're using a new beta builder to design your emails, you actually just need the image path, which I'm selecting here. I'll then go into the beta builder where I can select an image, click on change image, and add it as a custom image URL. I just paste that in and my timer will show up. If you're doing the personalized images, uh, just grab the HTTPS and end with the Infusionsoft merge field. Copy that. And once again, just go to change image, custom, and paste in the code. That's all it takes and you can use both the old editor and the new beta builder inside of Infusionsoft. I mentioned earlier that I would talk about fonts as well. So you can always come to your Nifty Images account, go to Settings, My Fonts, click on New Font, where you can upload any true type font, so .ttf. Um, we have some uh, websites here that have a lot of examples, and also uh, Google. If you go to google.com forward slash fonts, um, there's quite a bit of options for you as well that will give you the right license to use. 
Um, we hope this has been helpful. Uh, please feel free to email us at support at niftyimages.com or sign up by visiting niftyimages.com.